Hi, I'm Brian Myers, Senior Project Manager for Dayton Audio. Today, I'm here to talk to you about our new DATS loudspeaker analyzer, or DATS LA. To begin, we need to calibrate the device. So what we do, we go to the impedance analyzer. We're going to do this calibration in the order that it's uh, on the drop down. So we do the null calibration. Now it's going to ask you, make sure it's not connected to anything, which you can see the test leads are not connected, nothing's connected. You click OK. And it's going to do a large signal uh, at 4,000 hertz. It moved over to the generator screen to do this. So you can see it reacting. You can maybe hear the 4,000 hertz at high level. Um, and then what we're going to do, once it's completed, and there we go. See nulling, see nulling procedure is complete. You say, OK. We go to impedance analyzer again. Go down to impedance calibration. And now it's going to prompt us to connect it to the supplied 0.1K or 100 ohm resistor. So we need to connect the insulated binding post, mining the polarity, securely fastened. Then we can connect the outer gator clips to the turret connections that has a, the 0.1 kilo ohm, 0.1% resistor. So we hit OK. And now it's calibrating it. And up here in the RE section, it will let you know what it calibrated that 100 ohm resistor. This was a 100.3. That's well within its uh, the plus or minus in the calibration. So now we go to test lead calibrations. Of course, we need to connect the test leads together. These alligator clips are a little taunt, which is a good thing. Okay, now we have a, sorted the test leads together and we say OK. Now that calibration is going to be shown as 0.032 or 32 thousandths of an ohm calibration. Anything under one tenth of an ohm would be valid. That's it. Super easy. That's how it is calibrated. The only time it would need calibrated in the future if you change computers and you have to download the software over. Now that you're calibrated, you're ready to do other driver measurements such as small signal parameters, large signal parameters, symmetry tests, linearity tests, or anything else the software is capable of. Hope this video helped you out getting calibrated, and I'll see you in the next one.